I welcome you to this Ash Wednesday service of Timonium United Methodist Church. Before you begin to watch this video, I ask that you prepare your ashes if you picked up an envelope from the church. There should be a small clear envelope in there with some ashes and oil, as well as a Q-tip. Please put the ashes on the end of the Q-tip and set it to the side so when we impose the ashes, you are ready. And I greet you all. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. Bless the Lord who forgives our sins. God's mercy endures forever. Our call to worship today is from Psalm 51, verses 10 through 17. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from death, O God, God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. Were I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, you will not despise. Bow for a moment of prayer as we honor this Ash Wednesday. O oh God, maker of everything and judge of all that you have made, from the dust of the earth you have formed us, and from the dust of death you will raise us up. By the redemptive power of the cross, create in us clean hearts and put within us a new spirit that we may repent of our sins and lead lives worthy of your calling. Through Jesus Christ our Lord and all God's people said, Amen. Our Old Testament lesson comes from the book of Joel, chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the aged, gather the children, even infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her canopy. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord, and do not make your heritage a mockery, a byword among the nations. Why should it be said among the peoples? Where is their God? Our gospel lesson today comes from Matthew, chapter 6, verses 16 through 21. Whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The word of God for the people of God. 
Thanks be to God.